Дякую. Вечер добрый. Uh, I think that uh, some of you, in case to see such a, peop, uh, such a man on the fence close to the road, will decide that he is stupid, that he is uh, uh, without, without mind doing something. But in case to see deeper a little bit, we will understand that many things that we count as stupid, they are not stupid, they are crazy. Crazy is a different condition. I like, I like to be crazy, to follow one idea and to do everything for this. Even some people thinking about me not as a normal person. What? What I am doing? It's possible to see that uh, I construct, I construct my life from the beginning till the end, till now. And also I'm constructing mountaineering. Person can be different during all life. You can take many masks, many professions. Uh, for example, I was military, I was in army, I was working as a writer, I am, I am journalist. For me, it's very important, this sensation, to see how our world is from the different sides. It gives me a lot of emotions. Always positive emotions. This is very important for me to be a traveler because I see uh, myself inside of the many different points of the planet, how myself operate there. And also uh, one reaction is important to be the father, to be in the role of the very important meanings for our, uh, for our self, to continue our life. This is our future. And we are thinking about future as a construction, as a very good development of the projects. I'm operating in the mountains. Mountaineering is my uh, planet, is my world. And uh, step by step, I construct the lines. I, in the beginning, I imagine what I have to do there. What is interesting, something in that area. I try to explore, to think, to realize my idea, step by step, and go establishing camps, fixing the ropes, uh, making the trails. I rush, I rush till the summit, till the top, till the very important logical goal. It's impossible to go more than this summit. This example, how normal ascent happens normally. We are doing everything here, everything this, I mean, in mountains for the pleasure. We construct, we step by step realize our uh, ambitions, our ideas how to survive there. We are doing in the rules, in the special this modes. Broken. They arrive to the stone. Step by step going up and up, uh, close to the summit, close to the real goal. This is a logical, philosophical point where we have to, to get the condition of the Happiness. As I told you, in many professions it's possible to see some developments like this and exactly in the building. Uh, in the beginning people have idea how to do it, then from the ground, from the base, construct, uh, use a unit special, and step by step grow the level uh, going to the summit, and finally, what we have, very good uh, house for the people to live there inside, to get the pleasure, to realize themselves also. It's something that's very important, uh, and we need to know how, of course, to do it. Because every profession has specific specification, specialization. My materials are in front of you, in front of us. It's very difficult, step by step, to calculate everything, of course. But for me, it is a as a normal letter, letter that I can join for the words, then I can postpone to the phrase and uh, show you also my mountaineering. This is uh, also important uh, see technologies that uh, step by step help us to improve our actions, my actions also in mountains. I'm ready, I'm ready to do it, but technologies uh, help me to close, to protect my body in front of the uh, natural cold, of the wind, of course. Is also to protect uh, myself on the difficult, dangerous roads, rocky faces, icy. Of course, it's 
something that I learned at the beginning, and now I have to operate. These materials become step by step lighter, more hard, more uh, solid, more consist. It's a very good example. And for me, sometimes it's difficult to imagine even. Then people, two, three hundred years, they realize some ideas, some dreams in mountaineers, in mountaineering, even without such a good tense, light materials, uh, very strong against of the wind to be safety there. Even to prepare meal, food in the morning, of course, it's in the evening also is much more easy. Uh, it's not take a time from the kerosene to put inside the rice to boil it. Science many, okay, half one hour probably. We are ready to put something instant uh, inside of the water, and it's ready in five, three minutes, even sometime. Technologies, technologies help us a lot. It's possible to see also. Uh, 200, 300 years ago, uh, people are using backpacks with a similar kind to survive in the mountains, similar kind of equipment. About 50 kilos on the backpack is very hard, very difficult to move even through the deep snow on the rocky face also. And now we, for us, it's enough uh, even 15 kilos to do something in a similar kind, similar position. In this reason, mountaineering becomes less danger, becomes uh, more positive, more uh, variable, more artist game, something that we can do more safety and it gives us more possibilities. Even in normal life, we have uh, good cars, good uh, clothes. In, case, in this case, we have possibility to do ahead, to do a step for the next, for the future, to get real goal, real summits. Marisa, we, we did it. I am happy. I am happy on such a summit. I am happy to be here. And uh, it's important to remember that m some of my friends, many of my friends, they told, no, we have no time. We have no possibility to do something like this. Uh, tomorrow I am busy. When is a very important question. Sometimes it's not necessary to start now. Of course, it was necessary to start in the beginning. But now is correct time to do something to think that we are on correct way to do this step ahead, as I told you, with technologies, with experience, step by step, go ahead and to do something very important, don't lose the time. When I was very young, uh, for me, a uh, miracle happened like this, that my father took me for the hunting, I spent uh, ac uh, accesses to the nature with my friends. It was a real adventure in the beginning for the young man who explored the planet. Exploration. It was my adventure in that moment. Then I become step by step um, more uh, sportive as an athlete. I try to realize myself better than other people doing in the mountaineering, I mean. Now, looking back, I'm happy that I'm, I don't lost the time. I was doing exactly in the moment, every moment, something important for myself. I follow the dreams, I go to the mountains, but it's important to remember that trainings should to be always, because uh, to protect myself, to prepare myself for the extremal condition, I need to be ready every moment. Tomorrow, go to K2 in winter, I'm ready. Go for the rock climbing somewhere, I'm ready, because my body is the instrument. Yes, my body is the instrument to realize something interesting, to do...
get the goal, <laughs> next one, again, next, to be prepared. But everything, you remember, started from the fence when we are passing close and thinking, this man is stupid. No, he's not stupid, he's crazy. And I like to be crazy, and I like uh, to share this passion of my mountaining, of my solutions for the um, life with other people, with other friends. Because I am uh, completely egoist. I heard many times that people ask me, oh, what are you doing? You just follow your desire, you are going uh, mountaining, you are lo not looking for the family. Yes, I am egoist. And I see that uh, the best cooperation is with, with another egoist also happened because we are thinking in the same direction. And it means in these moments when we are thinking, we are acting in the same direction, similar, the power, our power is increasing twice, three, four times, many times. And we can get a real goal in every moment. This is something positive. And... Uh, If you will join very good uh, athletes together, sometimes it's very difficult for them to cooperate for the real achievement, for the real uh, passion. And because is, in any case, we have different mentality. We, every one of us is different. But I know exactly that uh, complete the team uh, with pe uh, people who are following the same direction in mountaining, uh, the passion of the uh, uh, sport, it's uh, important to start from the beginning, from the zero ground. In this reason, I was working many years, and I'm still working as a coach. Tomek, jak ty wiesz, ten czekaj spróbuj go... I share my pleasure of mountaineering with other people, and I teach them how to protect them, how to survive, how to realize themselves in the extremal uh, difficult condition, on the limit of the power. And uh, for me, it's also very good reflection. I protect myself because I always remember that people are doing something and it's my responsibility to control every detail. <laughs> good. Yes, this is the time how to construct the team, na tej wysokości. how to share the Wszystko energy. Na and of course, my body is instrument and it helped me to realize myself in positive actions to help someone else in mountains. Nice to see you! Adam, my chef Yes, it's also a responsibility because many people are coming there and uh, I can, in case I am able to help for anyone, also you probably, it's better to be ready, to give the hand from one side to another and also waiting that people can help you any moment. It's our future, our relation with community. But, of course, we have to remember that our actions uh, normally, okay, for, for the civilization in, in towns, but for me, I so many years already mountains. Mountains is my area, my col Coliseum. And I see how um, uh, it's changing since many years already. It's our also, I told you about responsibility, uh, that we need to think about nature, we need to protect, because glaciers changing. Also, we lose the water there. We have a lot of pollutions even in mountains. And my opinion that in case we have possibility to help for the nature, we, we should to do it. It's energy that we have to realize from our humanity to understanding. And I see that people uh, uh, using uh, channels to break the dumps in the uh, mountains. Uh, we organize now environmental expeditions on the highest mountains of the planet in Nepal. This is Everest. And even you will go uh, there on the limit of our survival, of the uh, limit of our access. In case you see, there are so many huge community people, thousands in one 
place in the nature that is not allowed to be there for such a uh, huge quantity of the community of people. Of course, it's become dirty. Step by step, many people like to go to mountains. I'm very happy that we protect Tatras in Poland, that we uh, are doing um, everything in correct, correct way. Also in Himalayas, now we organize many projects uh, to clean the mountains, to bring down the rubbish. This is something that makes me proud also that, that I'm uh, okay, human. And the uh, same we have to use in building constructions because uh, it's also uh, in case you put in center of the town, center of the community, new, built, new, new building, new house, you need to think uh, previously about people who are living around, who, how to protect them, how to uh, do the life more healthy, more good, more positive. Yes, mountains are beautiful. Mountains are very energetical. We are thinking about sportive ambitions there with, that help, to, uh, help for us to see that we are people. But it's important why. Why we are people, why we are humans. For me, these philosophical questions are giving a lot of important meanings. And I analyze myself because this way from by the reach from one summit to another never stop to look for the next achievement um, is my possibility to improve the planet to improve the world to improve the community i am doing trainings i am ready for the next step to be winner to get the goal on the summit i am happy to do it because it's uh, something uh, important for humans to be the leaders. Uh, it was my project also to realize 8,000 meters peaks ascents, also as a previous experience of Polish mountaineers. Kazakhstan's Dengban Yongong Denis Urukwa, Boris Didishikova, Alpine Stello, Chouyu Namdongbyeok. And I am happy that community reflect to me my passion that I am also doing something important for you, for other mountaineers, for Jerzy Kukuczka, maybe, because he is a uh, good example of very sportive uh, uh, athlete, very good person who always try, never stop exploring, never stop uh, do something better than before. Uh, Very important awards that you I got from the community, from the uh, sportive as a sportive achievements, give me a specification uh, reaction. I understand that I follow the right, correct way of my life. This is very, very important. And thank you for attention today also. Thanks. Naturally, we have a couple of questions. You can't just walk away, you know. Oh, uh, okay. No. <laughs> um, yeah, this is interesting. The uh, technologies of the, of the future in, uh, in climbing, perhaps um, some of the technologies are not immediately visible because we think of a pack. But I mean, a pack has, as you were saying, has changed immensely. Uh, every piece of gear has changed immensely. Now, how do you think the development of the technologies will, will, will continue? Uh, development of technologies in mountaineering against of the uh, difficult condition, yes? Mm -hmm. I think that um, this is a problem, quite paradox, um, controversial, because in alpinism, is a game with risk. In case we cut the risk, it will be not exact alpinism. Mm -hmm. And uh, technologies should to improve our um, sport actions, but not uh, cut uh, the risks condition. Of course, it's better to do it less, less, and less. But in any case, adventure always is risky. To do step ahead in the, our uh, civilization, in the normal life, we should to get risk. We need to understand that it's risky. Okay, technologies should to help our to act, but uh, not uh, to break the ru pr rules of the game. But then... You talk, about a, you talk about risk in ways that you know, we don't kind of understand. Your risk 
profile, uh -huh. shall we say, somewhat different. Uh, at 8,000 meters, when it's minus 40 and, uh, and it's blowing a gale and it's in the middle of the night, um, I don't think I'd be functioning particularly well. So the relationship you have to risk is, is very, very different to the average person. Uh, for me, is the answer, really. Because um, uh, I like spicy. I like uh, something very uh, nervous in the condition of the life. And to be analyzed everything as a chess game, for me, is not enough. Because to get a risk logically, we analyze everything, okay, but whether something is wrong, we turn back or we continue the way, is something that don't give a real test of adventure. But in case of experience, previous experience in my mind, behind, I don't control sometimes it. And I see the examples, bad weather, very difficult condition of the slopes, very de difficult condition of myself, something like this. But in, against of this, despite of this, I do step ahead. This is because I have something on the background, unlogical instincts that help for us to survive also. And in, this is a very tasty adventure in this moment. Mm -hmm. how, do you, how do you manage your energy levels? Mm. <laughs> uh, you know, that's also very good uh, compare with other kinds of the sport. Uh, to be a football player or to be a runner, you have to explode everything in one moment. Okay, maybe 90 45 minutes. 45 minutes, 90 okay. minutes. Yeah. In any case, you have to explode all energy till the end. To be a mountaineer, you need to explode everything, but leave, have every, a little bit for the descent down, for the a way to survive to base camp. And energy, of course, this is experience even. Sometimes it's impossible to control, I told you honestly. Mm -hmm. Just uh, luck, sometimes I feel that I am on the extreme level. I have no possibility to do any step ahead. But I do it, I continue, and this is a real challenge that we have to realize. Mm -hmm. I think we'll leave it there. Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. You, Thank you. I'm very proud to be here. Thanks. Thank you.